Commandment number one, thou shalt be RFP compliant. Ask yourself the question, did I respond to and meet all RFP mandatory requirements? You need to comply with all of the RFP man mandatory requirements. Review your response to ensure that every RFP requirement in your proposal are met. Use common language for the customer. Speak their language. It's not about you, it's about them. They need to see themselves in your bid proposal. Develop a checklist of all the RFP requirements to make sure that you don't miss anything when completing the bid proposal. Commandment number two. Thou shall write against the evaluation criteria. And the question you should ask yourself is, did I put sufficient details for each evaluated criteria? Write your bid proposal to the technical and financial evaluation criteria. Conduct an objective evaluation of your proposal against the evaluated criteria before you submit it to the customer. If you don't achieve the maximum score possible, consider adding quantifiable information to your bid, particularly where the maximum points are allocated. Focus on providing more sufficient details on higher weighted criteria as opposed to the lower scored criteria of the evaluation section. Commandment number three. Thou shall avoid using a standard proposal template. Ask yourself the question. Did I write a unique technical proposal addressing specific needs of the customer? Avoid using standard proposal templates for all customer. Avoid using previous bid submissions for the same customer as the requirements may, may change. If you must reuse old content, rewrite it and tailor it for your client and specific to the statement of work. Otherwise, a client will think that you're not putting enough information or in attention into the detail and you, they will figure or assume that you will make the same mistake when you actually deliver on the projects that you will be working on. Thou shall submit a price sensitive proposal. Question, did I conduct a thorough analysis of my financial proposal? If your price is too low, the customer may think that you don't understand the requirements of the RFP. If it's too high, then you need to provide substantive detail to the costs associated with your technical approach. If your technical approach is not superior to your competition, then you run the risk of not making the competitive range. Review the weighted evaluation score of the financial proposal against the technical proposal in order to submit the most competitive bid proposal. Commandment number five, thou shalt ask questions. This is probably the most important part of a bid proposal development and the most common mistake that we all make. We should ask as many questions as possible, avoid all assumptions. Question, do you have all my questions answered to prepare a high quality bid proposal? Take advantage of the question time frame during an RFP to seek clarification and monitor other bidders submitted questions and the customer's responses. Ask questions early in the, the uh, uh, evaluation phase. If a customer RFP is unclear, it's important to communicate with a designated contracting officer as soon as possible to seek additional information or clarification. Your question may trigger a change in the solicitation. So be careful not to ask questions that may also give your entire technical ideas an advantage to your competition. Commandment number six, thou shall quantify what I qualify. The question to ask, did I provide sufficient details on all qualified statements I made in my bid proposal? Avoid making general sweeping statements without providing any justification for details. Customer want to know why and how your company provides high quality service, why you're first in class, and how you provide timely and cost effective services. You made a qualifying statement, now you need to quantify what that means. Use examples to demonstrate your corporate approach and methodologies. Provide useful information about, about your proposed resources, the skills, the competencies, their experiences, as well as their attributes to make them ideal for the role that they will undertake. Commandment number seven, thou shalt explain what, I, what it will take to win. The question you should ask yourself, did I present the customer with a low risk and best value alternative in my bid proposal? Right to beat your competition, not just meeting the RFP's basic requirements. Understand the customer's requirements. Do your market research and review customer information such as annual reports, main estimates, historical data, plans on priorities, your technical proposal must convince the customer that you have a strong management team, 
a strong co corporate approach and philosophy that will minimize risk, and you have a strong track record with projects and customers of similar size, complexity, and scope. Commandment number eight. Thou shalt have someone review my bid proposal. Question. Did I have my bid proposal objectively reviewed by someone else? You are spending time and money to prepare a bid proposal, yet you really cannot afford not to have it reviewed before submitting it. When one person completes a submission, they become very familiar and they make mistakes and avoid picking up some of the errors and omissions in their bid proposal. Have someone else review the content and grammar of your submission as well as gaining new ideas. There's no substitute for an eagle-eyed review that solely focuses on this. Commandment number nine. Thou shalt seek customer debrief. Question. Did I seek feedback from the customer following the evaluation of my bid? Whether you win or lose a bid, always request feedback. Feedback will provide information on your strengths, your weaknesses, areas for improvement, where you have failed on your technical evaluation, as well as getting a pulse on your financial bid. Customer feedback will, will have enabled you to submit a better bid proposal the next time you're asked to do so. Commandment number 10. Thou shalt submit a professionally looking bid proposal. Does my bid proposal follow the numbering and presentation sequence of the RFP? The appearance of your proposal matters. Use proper format, tables of contents, charts, graphics, tables, pictures, etc. to bring clarity and straightforwardness of your bid proposal. Use proper language, punctuation, grammar. Most evalua evaluators will tell you that appearance doesn't matter. It's the content that counts. However, the best looking bid proposal will always be the winning one. And I have added other uh, commandments for consideration. Thou shall not make the bid proposal all about me. It's about the client. Demonstrate how you can provide added value and how this will benefit your customer. Thou shalt add value. Demonstrate in your bid proposal how you can minimize risk and add value to your customer. Thou shalt have well thought out approaches and methodologies. If you can demonstrate a strong corporate approach and a strong, process, strong processes, it demonstrates the maturity of your organization, the maturity of your processes, and the, benefits that the, and the benefits to your client. Lastly, for consideration, thou shalt develop sound teaming agreements. In the event that you are not able to submit a bid or comply with the mandatory requirements on your own at firm level, join another organization. Form a strategic alliance, form a joint venture, have a subcontractor. They will all contribute to qualifications of your bid proposal at firm level as well as resource level. Thank you.